Hey, welcome to another show. Today we're going to be talking about subtraction and two-digit subtraction. So let's first start out with simple one-digit subtraction. Use my blue marker here. Two minus one. All right. Pretty easy. You have two objects, something like these two cubes here, and then it says to take away one. All right, so you just take away one, and what are you left with? One. Pretty easy. Let's try another one of these. Let's try five minus two. All right. Let's use our fingers. So everybody try that. We have five fingers. One, two, three, four, five fingers. We take away two of them. Okay, it doesn't matter what two. I'm going to take away this two. So we have, now we have three fingers left. All right, pretty easy cheesy, isn't it? Five minus two equals three. All right, let's try one more. Let's try this problem here. Two minus four. Does anybody have the answer on that? I think somebody over there said two, right? So let's try that. So first we start out with how many? Two, we have two fingers, correct? So we take away four. One, two, wait a second. Let's try that with cubes. I'm not, I'm not totally understanding that. I have two cubes, I start out with two cubes. That's what it says right here. Because remember when we did five minus, I think it was, uh, three, something like that. We know we started with five fingers, and you take away three, one, two, three, and you're left with two. So here we start with two blocks, and I take away four. One, two, you still owe me two more blocks. That is what is called a negative number, negative two. And we, we're not going to talk about that too much in second grade. I think you're going to uh, get into that maybe in third and fourth grade. But you're going to come to understand uh, two-digit subtraction and regrouping and that you, you can't take away four uh, blocks when you only have two of them. It's like if your friend has five Hot Wheel cars and they want to take ten Hot Wheel cars. You don't have... 10 Hot Wheel cars. You only have five Hot Wheel cars. So that means you have to go out to the store, maybe to Walmart or Target, and buy five more and give it to your friend. Okay, so you don't have that. So when we start talking about two-digit subtraction with regrouping, I think you're going to understand this a little better. So let's start out with a pretty easy number, and let's start with 34 minus 16, okay? So 34 minus 16. First, we always subtract the ones. This is the ones column right here, ones, and this is the tens column, all right? So we gotta subtract the ones first. So it kinda helps, what I do is I'll take a piece of paper, you know, a sticky note or whatever, and I'll cover up all these other numbers. That gets in the way, gets kinda confusing sometimes. So I need to subtract four, minus six. Not gonna happen. I have, maybe I have four cookies and my sister wants six of them. Hey, can't give you six, I only have four. I need to make this number right here bigger. In order to do that, I need to take a 10 from here. These are 10 little blocks right in here. I don't know if you can see that, but this represents three tens. I need to take one of those tens and put it over here. So what I'm going to do is cross off. I'm going to take one from the three. Actually, this is in the tens place, so that's a 30. 
So I'm going to take 110 from the 3 and add it over to the 1s. So I put a little slash through the 3, and I'll write a 2 here. And I take that 10, taking this 10, I'm carrying it over to the 1s place. So 110 plus 4 equals 14. Put a slash through here, make that 14. Okay. So now I can do that. What is 14 minus 6? Yep, she got it right over there. 14 minus 6 is 8. How do I do that? I'll put 6 dots here just to double check myself. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. 2 minus 1. Pretty easy cheesy. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 34 minus 16 is 18. And you can check that by taking 8 plus 6 is, what is 8 plus 6? Let's try it out. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, carry the 1, and that would be 34. 34 minus 16. Let's do another one of these. I'm going to kind of go back and I'm going to do another example of why we need to regroup. Uh, I told this one to my class. Let's say I have the number 3 minus 5. All right, and I'll put this. I'll put 23 minus 5. Okay, do I need to regroup? That's another question. All right, do I need to regroup? If this number here is smaller than the bottom number, I need to regroup. All right, so how I do that is... Take my, my tiger right here, and if he has a small hat on and he's walking out in the rain, is he going to get wet? Of course he's going to get wet. So in the rain, he does not want a small hat or a small number on top. Okay, imagine that this is the bottom number, five, and this is the top number, the three. You don't want a small number on top. No, you want a big number on top so you won't get wet. So take that small hat there away and put a big hat on top of them. Or we need to change and do some regrouping and we need to change that small hat into a big hat so he will not get any rain on his head. All right. Thank you, little tiger. You bet. So let's change this right now. Remember, this is the ones place. This is the tens place. I need to take a 10 away from the two. Cross this off. This will be a 1. 10 plus 3, that's 13. Okay, 13 minus 5. What is 13 minus 5? Anyone over there? Let's try 8. I think it's 8. Let's see. Um, I'm going to make 5 dots right here. I love making dots. It makes more sense for me. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's our answer. It is 8. Oops. We made a mistake there. What did we forget to do? You're right. We forgot to bring the 1 down. 1 minus 0. Okay, don't forget about this 1. So bring this 1 right down here. Just like this. Okay? Let's try another one here. Okay, uh, let's try 60, just plain 60, minus 37. This one really confuses some students because they will think that 7 minus 0, you don't need to regroup, and they'll just put a 7 right there. Okay, but you got to remember about the hat thing. Remember the hat? That zero is like no hat at all. Like he's not wearing a hat. His head is going to get wet. He needs something on top of his head. So he needs a big number up there. Give him a big number to keep him dry, all right? So let's take a 10 away from the six. So six minus one is five. 10 plus 0 is 10. 
So now we can do it. 10 is bigger than 7. We know that that works. So 10 minus 7 is, let me see, let's do that. 7, 8, 9, 10. 3. 5 minus 3. So we have 3, 4, 5. 23. The answer is 23. All right, let's do another problem. And we have 47 minus 26. Okay, remember what I told you. First, you need to subtract the ones. Second, you need to see if you need to regroup. And third, you subtract the tens. Okay, subtract the ones. Let me see. Mr. Jeff told me that I need to see if the top number is bigger than the bottom number. It looks like it's bigger. Let me see here. Not sure if I need to regroup or not. Well, let's, let's test this out. I got seven. I got seven fingers right here, and I take away six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That makes sense. Let's make sure that's in my mind. If I have seven cookies and my sister went six of them, I can give her six of my cookies and I can keep one for myself. Perfect. I don't need to regroup. So no regrouping on this problem. So seven minus six is one. Four minus two, pretty easy. Four minus two is two. How you guys doing out there? Pretty easy? Let's try another one. Now when you're doing these problems, what I'd like you to do is um, take the videotape that you're playing, put it on pause, try and solve the problem ahead of time, and then come by and, and, and uh, start playing it again and see if you got the answer right. Okay, let's do another one. Let's try 71 minus 33. So right now, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this on your own. All right, had long enough time to do that, so let's try it. First thing, you need to subtract the ones. All right, I know Mr. Jeff said to cover that up. That number right there is too small, not covering up the three. That number on the top is smaller than the one on the bottom. I need to regroup. Take one away from the seven, like this, and add that 10 to the one here. So 10 plus one is, you got it, 11. You guys are pros now at this. 11 minus 3. What is 11 minus 3? Remember, three dots here. Let's try, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's try 8. 8, 9, 10, 11. 6 minus 3. So we have. Three, four, five, six. Six minus three is three. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. All right, I would like you to do 55 minus 27. I want you to do 66 minus 33, and the last one down here, I would like you to do 70 minus 23. Okay, go ahead and do those right now. Um, push pause, and then check your answers. Okay, begin. Let's do it. 55 minus 27, boom. Number on the top is too small. I need to regroup. Take a 10 away from the five or the 50, and that would be four. Add that 10 plus the five, that is 15. 15 minus seven is eight. Four minus two is two. All right, six minus three. 
That number on the top, looking big, bigger than the number on the bottom, do not need to regroup. So three, make sure you line these up, put the ones in the ones place, the tens in the tens place. Six minus three over on that side, another three. 33, 66 minus 33 is 33. Down here, 70 minus 23, I had that zero. Ah, you tried to trick me on that problem before, but I'm not gonna fall for that. So that number is, there's nothing there, so I need a big hat for that number here. Take one away from the seven, turn that into a six, add that 10 to the zero, it's 10. 10 minus three is seven, six minus two is four. Bada bing, bada bing. You guys did it, I'm proud of you. All right, I hope you have a good day. Any questions, again, please leave them in the comments below. And I hope this helped out. And we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. All right, we'll see you later.